So what is the situation like in Aleppo under the ceasefire? CCTV News went to the war-torn city to find out. The ceasefire agreement hasn't completely stopped the fighting in Syria's largest city. Local residents say there have been sporadic rugged attacks on neighborhoods despite the implementation of the ceasefire earlier this month. Downtown Aleppo appears busier, and there's much more traffic than before the ceasefire started. But things look much different a few blocks away in the district of Midan. This neighborhood, which was controlled by the government, has witnessed the heaviest rocket attacks, allegedly by opposition forces. Local residents say their neighborhoods are far from secure. A homemade rocket made from a gas cylinder hit this building yesterday at around 5 p.m. The entire apartment was destroyed. Three people were killed and 11 were injured. The business owner who lives near the destroyed six-story building said that similar rocket attacks used to occur on a regular basis before the ceasefire. They continue to occur today, but not as often. This is the fifth or sixth time I've seen a rocket attack. We have got used to it. The situation this week is better than last week. We were hit many more times last week. They fired more than 20 homemade bombs at us. The whole neighborhood was under rocket fire attack. Actually, the situation is pretty much the same as in the past. Compared with last week, it is the same. It's just that the number of attacks was a little bit higher last week. Rocket attacks continue here despite the truce, but it's harder to determine the situation in Aleppo's rebel-controlled districts. And nobody knows what will happen after the ceasefire expires. Chen Chen Chen, CCTV.